what exactly is a function or a method? Uh, there are, those two terms are used pretty interchangeably. There's some key points of differences and a lot of arguments over what that actually means, but we're not going to get into that. Instead, we're just going to go through and write out a, uh, a function here and it's going to say public void add to numbers int a and int b. And I'll explain all of this here in a moment. And we're just going to say debug dot log a plus b. So this is a method. And the first section here where it says public or private, public just means that other classes can see and execute on it. So if another class reaches out and gets a reference to method explanation here, it could say method explanation dot add two numbers and perform this. Void is the return type. Void means there's no return. Anything else in here means there is going to be something to return. So if this was an int or a float, it would be required to return something. And we'll create one of those in a moment as well. This is just the name. So whatever you want to call the method, and these are your parameters. So you can have as many parameters as you want, uh, any type that you want, and you can do a couple other things that we'll show here soon. And then the actual contents of the block here, which is just debug.log. So if we just go ahead and add our start method back in, we can say add two numbers. And we need two numbers, so we'll say one comma three. So we know that's gonna be equal to four. And we'll grab our main camera and attach our script to that. So we can execute it in here. And press play. And we get a four. So let's create another method. And this one we will say public int add to number yeah numbers together so same logic but instead of doing a debug.log in here we're going to say return a plus b so instead of using this up here we'll say debug.log add two numbers together and we're going to say four and three so we should get a seven so what's happening here is we're returning an int so we go in here, we return the value of these added together. And this, if you hover over it, you can see that first section here, I can't really move my mouse on top of it, I can, it says int. That means that's the type that it's going to return. So I can expect to get an integer. So if I wanted to, I could say int test is equal to add two numbers together. And then I could just print test. And debug's going to throw a fit because it's an int, so we just need to convert that to a string. Oh, nope, it doesn't actually care that it's not a string. It'll convert it for us. I didn't have the semicolon. All right, so now if we go back into Unity and we press play, we should get a 7. Because we're returning that value. Okay, we got it. And now the last thing that I was going to show you is if we did public void multi return. So say for some reason we wanted to add a group of numbers together. We could say int a, int b, int c, and int d. And then we could say out sum one, out sum two. And I forgot to add the out int sum one, out int sum two. So what's happening here is we're actually returning two values and it's in an error state because it's expecting us to have something. So we can take someone is equal to a plus b, sum two is equal to c minus d. And now we no longer have an error and we can use this method. So if we go up here, we can say, int sum one or yeah int sum one int sum two and then we say our multi return so it's going to be one five eight four out sum one out sum two 
and then we can say debug.log. Right, and I'm going to switch this down here to a plus because I have them labeled sum and that's bothering me. All right, so we should get a 6 and a 12 back from this. So now if we go back in here, press play, we'll see sum 1, 6, sum 2, 12. So that's what we're doing here is this outward means that you can put things out. So we can return a game object. We can return whatever we want just as long as we have it declared here and we have something to out to. If you don't, you have to have the variable declared before that you actually call this method and put out or it has nowhere to go. And I hope this kind of cleans up uh, or gives you a better understanding of the method structure and kind of how this works, what these individual pieces do. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or better yet, join the Discord and we can talk it out there. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you liked the video and I'll see you next time.